Hey everyone! Welcome back to another exciting Photoshop tutorial. This is Sudasan from TutBuddy. Today, I'm going to show you, how to create this popular Facebook 3D image post using Photoshop. You can make your normal 2D image or composite into 3D using Photoshop and Facebook. Let's get started. This is a rough composite that I have created. And we are going to turn this composite into 3D. If you want to follow along, you can download this complete composite with all layers, from the link in the description. We have our composite ready. All we need to do is to create the depth map. Before we do, let's understand, what is depth map? Depth map gives us information about how far or near the objects are. The way it does that by using blacks and whites. The farther the object is the blacker it's going to be. The nearer the object is the whiter it's going to be. For example in this composite, the sky is very far from the camera. So it has to be black. The boat with the man is very near to the camera. So it has to be white. The whale jumping is in between from the boat and the sky. That means, it is in between the black and the white. Yes, it is grey. Cool. Let's go ahead and create the depth for this composite. Let's start with creating a blank folder. Call it depth map. Then create a layer and call it sky. Let's select the sky first. I'm gonna use pen tool to make the selection. You can use any selection tool that you like. Right click and choose make selection. Let's fill it with black. Because, it is away from camera. Choose the foreground color to black. And fill it with black by hitting Alt Backspace on your keyboard. Press Ctrl D to deselect the selection. Now, have a look at the C, it goes to nearer to farther. That means it is going from white to black. Yes, we need to create a gradient for this. Let's create a layer under the sky and call it C. Then take the gradient tool, and make sure the gradient is black to white or white to black. And start dragging from the sky area. Cool. Now it's time for us to add the depth for the whale. Let's turn off this group for a moment. Since it is a composite, we have all the layers separately. So we can make the selection from the layer itself without touching any selection tool. Let's go ahead and make the selection by pressing Ctrl and click on the layer thumbnail. We have the selection around the whale now. Let's turn on this depth group. Create a blank layer. Rename it to Whale. And take the eyedropper tool. Sample the color from where the whale is touching the sea. Press Ctrl plus to zoom in. And press Alt Backspace. To fill up the color we have sampled. Then press Ctrl D to deselect. Perfect. Let's turn off this for a moment. Now we need to create depth for this boat with the person sitting. I'm using pen tool to make selection in this case. You can use any selection tool that you want. And start selecting the area.
right click and make selection. Just turn on this group now. Here we need to fill this up with white, because, it is closer to the camera. Create a layer and call it boat. Make sure the foreground is white, and fill it up with white by hitting Alt Backspace on your keyboard. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Now we are done with the depth map for the composite. And we are ready to upload it into Facebook. Cool. First, let's turn off this depth group and save this complete composite as an image. Go to File. Export as. I'm going to save it as JPG. You can choose either PNG or JPG as you wish. And hit Export All. Choose your folder. Give it a name Composite. And hit Save. Now let's turn on this depth group. And save this as separate JPG as well. Again, go to File, Export as. Keep the same format and settings as before. And export all. Now here is the very important step we need to keep in mind. Make sure the name is same as the one we saved earlier. And just add underscore depth. Then hit save. Now we have our both the images ready to upload into Facebook. Let's dive into Facebook. And click on the photo or video button. Locate the folder. Select these two images and click open. Now let's wait for Facebook to do the magic. The we go. Our 3D image is ready. That is how we can create the Facebook 3D image using Photoshop. Cool. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future videos. Give a thumbs up if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on another tutorial.